All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassis Plays and today we are doing another part of Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt. Uh, last two times that I've done this, I've actually, well, one, first one was off stream, second one was on stream until the stream actually broke. So it ended up only being like 40 minutes or so. And now today I'm doing another recording. Um, so yeah, I, the first thing I actually want to do on this uh, video here is actually go through the tutorial because I didn't realize that there's like a cinematic that kind of plays in the beginning of it. Now, I don't know if it gives any lore. I have actually haven't watched it, but I did want to run through it just because uh, whatever things I might be missing or honestly, just to see the tutorial in itself. Um, and then, yeah, after that, we'll go into a few solo matches. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to end up being, but we'll make as much progress as we can. I did pick up the, uh, the battle pass, so... That's pretty cool, too. Let's see. For centuries, we have lived in secrecy among you, maintaining the masquerade. We have influenced your society, fed on your blood, thrived among you. Until now, our leadership was betrayed decimated in a savage attack chaos followed and a bloody sectarian war now rages on the streets of Prague this has made us vulnerable exposed to the kindred's most fanatical enemy the entity Okay, so that's a cool little cinematic. All right, so let's actually run through this and see what they have. Um, I don't know if they actually teach us anything like special or something we don't already know, but might as well. I uh, used X to find armor. Okay, a lot of this stuff we already know. I don't know if you get anything for actually completing the tutorial as well. So, let's see. Locate a mortal with resonant blood. There it is. My part one for uh, this series has actually been doing pretty good. So I figured I would, uh, you know, play some some more, create some new videos and see how it, uh, how it goes from there. So if you guys do enjoy this, definitely let me know because that, um, you know, liking it and then also leaving a comment really helps me out number one but also it does actually tell me like hey people are enjoying this playthrough maybe i should create some more um so i'm gonna try to start sticking to that a little bit more uh as we make progress with my channel and everything that way i can make sure i'm making videos that people enjoy and not really uh spending time on things that may or may not be the best eliminate the enemy <laughs> this guy is like running backwards. He's down. Feed on the Anarch. Finish him off for a quick kill. Survival essentials. Nice. So it looks like that's pretty much. I mean, honestly, you, you kind of learn that in your first game uh for this anyways so it's not like the biggest deal um it doesn't really tell you much about Welcome like back. the abilities that you get when you do feed on people um so i kind of had to figure that out me and soldier pad figure that out ourselves but yeah that's a quick tutorial uh we do have a mission or a quest that i might actually try doing um pick up the explosives near the burning church um Find it between the burning church and Mayaya's terrace. Look out for entity soldiers nearby. And then recently, so in my first part of this series, I thought that the brute was like the male version and Vandal was the female. 
version of each class. Uh, they all have the same clan power, but they all have different passive and archetype abilities. I completely forgot that you can select the next one and customize it and change it to A or B um, body types. So, yeah, kind of forgot about that. I actually went through each one, changed them a little bit, uh, then their default. And now we uh, have the Enforcer with the... I did pick up the Battle Pass, like I said at the beginning. So now I got the uh, these two outfits, the Boss one and this Iron Mask and stuff. Um, it's a pretty cool game, so I figured I'd check it out and support it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess with that, well, let's go into our first uh, solo match of the day. I'm probably not going to do any, like, duos or anything. Probably just go in solo. Um, I might not do the greatest, but hey, that's part of learning learning it. Hopefully we get a few kills or kills here and there. Um, hopefully we do all right, but I guess we will see. I don't know if you get anything for actually examining all these um, these items all over the, uh, the Elysium or Asylum. I forget how you, I don't know how you actually are supposed to pronounce it. All right, and when we spawn in here, I'm going to try to go to the burning church and look for this thing, wherever it might be. Taking a little bit of time. There we go. Okay, the burning church. Is it right here? Wait, there's an icon right there. Or this area is like lighting up red. So maybe it's in this vicinity. I never noticed that if it is. Okay, so we have a few people. Now the nice thing is everybody here is solo. Start out with three random resources. All loot locations are high tier. I'm actually going to try going Enforcer. I haven't played the Enforcer at all. The only ones I've played so far uh, was Muse, Siren, and then the second green variant character. I forget what they were called. Okay. So here we are. Let's see what happens. Grab this weapon. It looks like there's an icon right here. I just can't tell. Oh, there's something right here. Explosives. Nice. All right. So we got that quest done. I wonder how many quests there actually are. Is there an ability that tells you what your abilities do? Like some games, if you press F1, you can see. Doesn't look like it's telling me right now. I just heard somebody. Feed on him. What do we got? What do we got? Pistol. Out of space, okay. Did we find any armor? No, we didn't. I haven't found any armor yet. Uh, let's try and run and grab a... One of these. Thank you. Now, my Q ability gives me some sort of heal. Uh, 
That's really close. Get back here. Nice. First kill of the day. I feel like it's honestly because I had like okay weapons. I didn't have anything like crazy, but I did get off the first few shots too. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, shit. No. No. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Oh, they were playing as an enforcer, too. Wait, respawning? Wait, you get to respawn in uh, solo mode? Huh? Or was it the variant of the, um, the match we were in? Try to third party this person. Please change weapons. Oh my God. Damn it. Oh, saved, saved. I got 10 seconds. Damn it. 33 out of 40. Okay. I didn't know that uh, solos had different rule. I don't know if it was actually the... Um... Oh, you actually have to leave too. Okay. Um, I didn't know if it was just that version that I was in right there or... Because I saw the top right. I didn't actually read through them. Uh, but there was two things that said about the match that I was in. Now I'm actually going to go back to the Elysium so that way I can uh, do whatever quests are handed in, whatever the, it is. Uh, locate the borrowed book. Welcome, dirty work. Oh, did I? Is that pretty much it? I guess. I don't know if you actually have to hand it in or if you do that and you're good to go might be good but uh you're not him i think it was i'm trying to remember it was like through a wall somewhere i think it's up here yeah here we go There he is. Let's just see if he has any Over new here. quests or anything. Nah, okay. I didn't think so, but it's worth a try. Wait, how does he have one? He has a quest marker over his head. As if he might, but I guess not. Ugh. Into the next match we go. All right, here we go. Loading in right now. Um, let's go to let's go to a slaughterhouse. Hmm. Yeah, actually, let's go to slaughterhouse. There's gonna be a good amount of people around here. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a shot. 
I don't know how great or good or bad this will go, but it is worth it. <laughs> or it might be worth it. Oh, you start the match with one extra life. Okay. So in solo mode, you get one extra life. I didn't know that. Like at all. Oh boy. Extra life, regain up to one other life. Nice. I honestly wish there was a way where if you press number two, it would just switch to your next weapon. Because every time I press two, I think that I have my secondary weapon, but I have my or i think i have my primary weapon but i have my secondary weapon so then it throws me off Oh god. Reload this thing. Those people might have revived themselves. Oh God, no, no. Uh, always make sure your weapons are reloaded all the way. Lives remaining zero. Uh, okay, so we are respawning, but we have, yeah. Respawns you pretty close too to wherever you died before. Damn it! <laughs> twice in a row I got. I think I got killed by the same guy twice. Oh. I roll an eight. So you can either spectate or you can just straight up leave and queue up for the next. I'll queue up for the next one. I mean, so, so far we've gotten like one down each uh, run, but nothing to crazy or anything i'd rather have um i know when we hit level four for each character you gain um the thing that you can enable the melancholy or whatever it's called where your abilities regenerate technically faster so they they pretty much go in a lot um within i think it's like 20 
seconds or 20 it might be 25 percent um they regenerate but you only get that once you hit level four with the character right now we only have like a little bit extra ammo or something which honestly i mean yeah it can kind of be nice but i've never at least i don't think i've had a moment yet where i ran out of all of my ammo <laughs> Because you have to be in a long firefight for that. Okay, so variation windy. Guess spreads faster and all loot locations are high loot. Okay, so there are some matches where they add in two uh, variation objectives or whatever. That's cool. Kind of changes it up. The whole map is a little bit more spread out here. <laughs> That'll be interesting. I'm going to go Enforcer like maybe one or two more times. I might try out Brute too, depending on, um, okay. So I'm level two as the Enforcer. That's not horrible. I, I do like how they give you at least one extra life. Um, I think that's kind of cool. It's not like you're just one and done. Like that's it. GG. Good luck. On to the next. I, I think I need to prioritize finding more loot more often now. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, bro. I just need to get out of there. Oh, I'm getting shot. No, I got three seconds. Damn it. Ah, oh, that sucks. At least you spawn in with like a decent setup like the second time around. That guy's watching me. Quick, quick. Got him. Reload. Damn it. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm literally struggling with the controls because I pressed three to pull out my, to like heal myself a little bit, but no, 39 out of 40. What the hell? That many people didn't die yet? Uh, right there, I, I was literally struggling with the controls um, just for the fact that I was pressing one, trying to swap weapons, and then I pressed three to use the keels, but then it's actually four. Uh, it's just dumb mistakes that are causing me to die. It's probably because I... I I just woke up like two hours ago or so. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's that. It's not me being bad. <laughs> me and Soldier Pad had did did all right with a few games, but then again, it is a tag team. So so yeah, but but solo is a completely different realm. I'm sure a majority of people. Well, I don't know what the the primary um uh gameplay mode is for this game actually might be a solo and might be trios i think they started with trios but I, i'm not sure i'm glad that they added duos though that's pretty cool and they kind of added it pretty fast i wouldn't mind going in with a uh 
a second person, but start out with three random re uh, renaissance and all loot tier, uh, all loot locations are high tier. Sure, I'll, I'll go where it tells me. Actually, you know what? Let's switch over to Princess Haven. I feel like staying on the outside of the map might be beneficial, but we'll go Enforcer again. All right, here we go. I like the enforcers animation when they start. It's kind of cool. Please don't see me. Okay. Try to grab some ammo there. Oh, wait, that's com maxed. What? Bro, how? Wait, what? What even just happened? I'm so confused. They like instantly, instantly killed me. Hey, now I have a purple Tommy gun though. I'll take that. Is this the same person again? They just had like a really good shotgun or something. They also had a ton of abilities. Damn, we've been dying like 38. I haven't even made it under 30. Am I playing too, uh, too aggressively maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go back to, I'm actually gonna go back to Elysium. All right, we are back on the Elysium. Uh, let's see. So it's saying that there's there might be a quest over here. But when I was over here earlier and I tried talking to him, he didn't have actually have a quest for me. What? Maybe this time he does? Deal 75 damage with a crossbow. Okay. We'll try to do that. Actually, before we go, let's see. Wait, this one requires level 10? How did I unlock it on the muse or the siren then? Oh, uh, different archetypes have different abilities that they unlock. I wonder because it might be like more beneficial or something. So what, what do I unlock first? At level three, I can start with two sanguine blood renaissance. Resonance. I always say renaissance. How do you... I wish there was a thing somewhere that would actually tell you what each renaissance actually is. Like, as far as I can tell... Uh, thing, threats, traversal, mortals. Like, there's one here that says blood res res 
Resonance. You start with sleep three slots and can get up to 12 by performing that on three other players. Okay. You can only have one artifact at a time. Consumables, precision ammo. Yeah, I guess we can't. Uh... All right, let's just go back into the next one. On to the next. Tier 8. So we're making a little bit of progress. Types. Nearby enemies have their movements slowed or speed slowed. Uh, deal moderate damage and silence enemies for a brief duration. Silenced enemies cannot use vampiric powers while affected. I bet you farewell. I wonder if the higher your level goes, maybe you you start unlocking more uh, quests and other objectives to complete. Brute True Grit replenishes up to half their health. Actually, it would be pretty helpful in uh in combat. I don't know any other. I feel like any other perk ability is probably better, in my opinion, compared to the extra ammo. But it is nice to start with that. I mean, maybe later on in the game, like you might start realizing like, hey, this extra ammo is really helpful. But I don't know. I haven't had any moments where like it actually was yet. Oh God. I'm going, I'm dropping in an area that's not even that like heavily um, high loot and there's already so many people. All right, here we go. Once again, we're back in. I love that animation. It's so simple, but it's cool. Dual crossbows. It's funny, I actually need to get some kills with crossbows. Oh God, finish reloading. Break, eat, eat. There we go. Body armor up. Not mean to do that. Okay. If we have to get kills with just the crossbow and not the other thing. 
not the dual crossbows. just saw them a second ago. Oh god. Why? Why, game? I press two or three and it like swaps to my... I know if I press three it swaps to my fist, but still. I feel like I pressed, I don't know. I don't know what I pressed. There a way you can swap shoulders? That guy just ate somebody. Gas moves faster, so I need to get out of here. Did that just drop right here? We're definitely in a better match. Uh, man. Oh, God. Damn it. Yes. Kill them first. Oh, damn it. Is a little bit better. Made it all the way down to 23. So it's definitely better than the last match. Um, I need to see if there's a way you can change your. <clears throat> like just swap between primary and secondary. Right now, like pressing one and two, I, I wish when you pressed one or when you press two, it would switch between your primary and secondary. I just, I don't know what it is. Um, melee, primary weapon, melee weapon. King, next weapon, previous weapon.
Uh, I don't think there's really a way. I just have to constantly be aware of whatever weapon is I have equipped, which is, I don't know. <clears throat> like, I wish if I pressed one, then it would swap to the sec two. Or if I pressed two and I already had two equipped, then it would swap to one. I know that's kind of like, uh, I don't know how that would do that, but it would make more sense in my mind. Cause then it's like, oh, I already have two equipped. Oh, I didn't realize. Let me swap to one. Oh, I already have one equipped. I didn't realize. Let me swap to two. Unless if I switched them, I could switch one and two. So that way when I press one, it swaps to two. And then when I press two, it swaps to one. Technically that would work actually. That might actually be a, uh, a way around it, but then it would just be confusing because if I'm in a game and I'm like using something else, then it would get complicated there. But I don't know. It's an idea. Actually, let's go. Yeah, let's go to a rooftop restaurant. Actually, let's go to the harbor. <laughs> There's a lot of people over there. Yeah, look at that. Not many people over here in the harbor. I'll go Enforcer again. My goal is to try to possibly get Enforcer to, to three. Oh, he is three. I wish you could um swap out your abilities and stuff. And in this menu you have to actually do it in the elysium all right here we go Unyielding charge has 10% decrease in it. Nice. Okay. So right now, this is considered my secondary. I press one, it switches to my pistol. Oh god, I can't see. What the? Why did this guy have that good of a weapon? Also, what just happened? Uh oh, can we swim? <gasps> oh my god, we can't swim. Okay, well, at least I got an achievement from that. <laughs> Holy crap. Boop.
Never mind. Closing in. There's two. There's somebody all the way up there on the scaffolding. They don't seem to care. We have an extra life. Nice. Uh, I don't know if this is a smart idea, but I'm going to try it. Oh no! Really? Wait, did the, the other person might have gotten up. <sighs> that was... I don't know, that wasn't the greatest idea. At least I regained a life. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Oh my god. 
Ah, uh, dude. If I didn't get that, one extra life would be out right now. But I got, somehow I got that. So you can get a good amount of extra lives if you uh, keep on trying. Oh wait, that'll replace one. I have no idea where they just went. See them. Quick, grab this. I'll get one extra life. Nice. Oh no! I shot the civilian. <laughs> a good match right now. I still have an extra life, too. I never realized how crucial they were. Got nine left. Still no body armor. Get me out of here. <gasps> Damn it. Still have an extra life left. It's gonna be sketchy, but we still got one. Are you kidding me? They might give an extra life, too.
No respawns allowed. I knew I was going to get third teamed. No! Damn, fourth. Fourth and solo, not bad. Not too bad, with three deaths too. That's not horrible. Let's see who comes out on top. We got two left. Crazy guy 4K, are you that crazy? Are you going to win it all, crazy guy? Yeah, this guy, they were loaded with uh, body armor. And their health sets, yeah, well, their health set 250 because they haven't. They're behind them. I don't know if they really don't realize. They really can't hear them. Oof, that might be it for them. There it is. That is game, and who is the winner? Epoch 69. Nice. <laughs> and that's gonna be it for me for today. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching. If you did watch this long, definitely let me know in the comments because hey, it's we're 57 minutes into the video, so that's that's a good amount of time. If you do want to see more, definitely please let me know uh, because you know more likes on the videos, more comments and subs, making me realize like hey, people are liking this content or liking these let's plays. That really helps me out, and I will make that effort to record more of these. So please let me know. Otherwise, go check out my other uh, Let's Plays. Go check out my live streams. I go live typically around 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then we weekends, it's a little bit uh, more in the morning uh, for Saturday and Sundays, depending on the weekend. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything. So thank you. Um, have a good rest of your day or night, whatever it is. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.